we are here with uh, Phil from Def Leppard. Welcome back to Montreal. It's Thank been quite you. Quite a while. It has 2008, apparently. Yeah. 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 Now, every year you're on tour. Yeah. But not every year you have a new album. Right. When can we expect a new album? One or the other. That's One or the, the other. Or at, at the temperature is right now I, I think it's really good doing like ep a few tracks right. one at a time that type of thing because really there is no dev demand for albums despite what you know hardcore fans say, we'll say. It, the, the reality is saying different so i, I think yeah, we are we are going to work on a new album but i think we as soon as we've got a few songs ready i think we'll, we'll probably get them out as well so um and with itunes it's so much easier it's these great days. it's so much fun now you just put out rock of ages 2012 pour some sugar on me 2012 joe has talked about a forgery album where you're yeah. going to what is the process behind that i mean we know why it is it's a business yeah, decision sure Fair enough. Uh, when are you going to get to recording? Uh, I've actually started okay. Hysteria. Okay. The other guys have got to do their bits on it. The song or the album? The, the song. Okay. So they'll all be bits one at a time. I think we're going to start bringing on the heartbreak. I mean, whatever. Whatever one kind of takes shape. But it was kind of fun doing them two songs, you know, Sugar and, and Rock of Ages. And, um, you know, I'd, I, I see Mark quite frequently, actually. I see, I always bump into him and... and Does he have a hand in reproducing? No, no. no okay. he's, he, I mean, he's always so busy anyway, doing doing whatever he's doing. But, uh, you know, I mentioned that. He, he, he heard them and I played them and he said, wow, he's a great. So that, that, was, that was kind well, of... Nice. I, I actually, I don't want to say I prefer the Rock of Ages, but there's a, an underlying groove to it, that, that thud... That's, that wasn't really as prominent in the first, so it's right. really great. It's really Thank great. you. Now, now, how many do you plan on doing, like, 10, 15, 30? Well, until, until, whenever, really. Until, you know, I mean, really the way it came about, you know, we, we had a, we was stuck in a thing with our label. They, they right. put some downloads out without permission. So it got frozen. That's why we've never been on iTunes. You know? Right, so, which has um, got to be exceptionally frustrating. Really frustrating. Because you're on tour right now and you'd be selling. Absolutely. And, and, and the label must have they've lost out on a fortune. But um, yes. as, as typical. Not to mention you. Absolutely, yeah. But as typical, you know, record company industry types, you know, the whole greed thing, it's like, didn't happen. So instead of just sitting there and saying, well, we're not going to put them out, we said, we'll just re record them. Because okay. we, we really didn't want to, you know, have a movie called Rock of Ages. Tom Cruise do a version of Pour Some Sugar on Me and, and us not have that available. So uh, we, we done, we done, you know, we forged our own stuff. Now, now, will there be an album eventually or is it going to just be singles? It'll probably be singles, I think, yeah. That's, that's the way we go, just release them whenever we finish them. And, you, great. and you're not tempted to update them in any single way or No, change? I think, I think you, you, the, the minute you do that, you, you run the risk of it really being naff and crap and, and I think you have to really stick to the faithful thing and unless you do a live version obviously which we're doing as well now the last album speaking of live was Mirable that was the last record for your last record company what is it what do you see Def Leppard that was actually on, on our, our own that wasn't with oh it. really uh, yeah that oh, I missed that I thought that was the no, last no. I thought that was a contractual one no so, so you're going to be going by yourself now yeah which is an interesting way. It's great, it? yeah, yeah, you know. A little freedom. What about Man Rays? Yes, um, we, you know, we put uh, Take on the World, we, we put that out this year, that was right. a, a, a song um, for another movie. Right. Um, got more stuff on the go, it's just a matter of getting getting down to it. I was going to do some touring. Um, Paul has visa difficulties and, and stuff, and, and we, I said, well, perhaps I'll come to England and in the break. And it's the Olympics and everything. Somebody's like, you know what? Let's just take a, a break. Yeah, it might be hard to tour during I, the Olympics. I think so. <laughs> yeah, you know. So, uh, yeah. I mean, it's all it's all there still. It's up. We just to reconnect it, and, and it's still it, it's so much fun. You know, just the the songwriting process, the, the excitement, and everything. It's, it's great. Yeah, it's also different from Def Leppard because yeah. you're really just you know Absolutely. old school, as they say, right? We, we done the last album in two weeks. Punk Punk Roots Rock. We recorded the whole thing in two weeks. Can you compare the two sort of recording processes between the sort of Def Leppard two-year process and the two-week process? Yeah, I can actually. It's, um, I, I think we, we've gotten into that, that process with Def Leppard, you know, um, and it's just everyone. My guitar parts, however, are, are pretty much, I use exactly the same thing for, for both last records, like all about believing def undefeated, kings of the world. Undefeated's a great song. Yeah, that's great, yeah. I used exactly the same straight into my computer, into the Mac, as I did on the whole Punk Punk Roots Rock album. So that, that's that. It's, it's just a matter of locking into the thing. When you're playing live, when you're like Paul's a live drama and everything, we actually jam the songs out live. And so you actually get more of a, a feel for it. We also rehearse them, gig them, and stuff like that. Whereas we don't do that with Def Leppard. So you're actually starting from 
recording in the studio, which is, you know, a different way of doing it. I, I, it's not as much fun, but, it, you, you know, it kind of... It and lyrically, it must be different as well, because it's a different, different message. Absolutely. Like, you know, in Man Race, it, it actually gets quite, you know, political, social, and all, all different types of things. It could be a love song, you know, it can be anything. Whereas F Lab, we, we have, we're kind of locked into a certain path. You can't really stray too far out, otherwise our fans don't, just don't relate to it. Right. So, I mean, you got to sort of keep writing "Pour Some Sugar on Me" and not yeah, straight to a version of it, which is great. Absolutely, right? yeah. Um, I forgot my question. That's not good. <laughs> Talk about your a little bit about your diet and exercise. You, you, you've you know started off in the '80s, and you were this one of the sort of toxic twins in a sense. And since then, you've cleaned up. You've got a personal trainer. You've gone vegan or vegetarian? Yeah, vegan. Yeah, I've been a vegetarian for uh, this will be 30 years coming up. So difficult yeah. on the road to maintain no, that. Not lifestyle? anymore. It's uh, and here's the funny thing, I, this tour, I've, I've been the lightest I've been for probably about 20 years, and the fittest I've been, ever. So, you know, that's, that's uh, and we just turn it up all the time, you know, the, the, the cardio part, we, we do Muay Thai kickboxing, it's, uh, you know, pads, right. and, um, and John, my trainer, you know, he was a, he's a world champion coach, five world champions, he got their belts, so... Um, he just it just makes me train like that really, and then we do weights and bands and everything really. And the diet wow. is so important. It's not it's not just being a vegan. It's actually avoiding carbs at certain times of the day, and it's actually a, a well, that kind of regimen. Uh, do you keep yeah. a diary? Do you keep no, a no. I just I just know what to do. Like I I wouldn't have. Now I get to the point if I have something like pasta or bread, which I don't really have anymore. I'll have oatmeal in the morning or something. But it, that stuff really clogs me up. I feel really kind of. <sighs> So yeah. And the last thing I'll ask you is the guitar picks you use. Mm. You use the metal ones. Right. A lot of the fans don't know why that is. Um, Thirty-three years ago, I think I was in Hong Kong, right. and um, a, a couple of guys gave me metal picks. It's one Chinese session guitarist had a brass coin that he turned into a pick, and he was a jazz player. But he said, "Check the sound of this out." And I'm playing, I was like, oh my God, this is great. It was obviously the Brian May influence, you know, I, I love that. Um, it changed the sound. So um, I, I've been using it ever since, actually. And it's, uh, it, it, you obviously have to change the style of playing because, you, you know, it doesn't bend and, and you have to be a bit more, I don't know, especially if you hit every note. It's, do you change them on man rays or, do, or is it... Metal? Yeah, same deal, same, same deal. Yeah, metal. Gives you more drive. Also, absolutely, yeah, more aggressive and... And brighter, brighter kind of tone. Now I know you got to go get ready for the show. Uh, Man rays, is it a dot com or a dot net? Uh, dot com. So people should go check that out. Absolutely, yeah. Pick up the latest album, and of yeah. course go get the two downloads. Absolutely. And uh, the forgeries that you talked about, the next ones, uh, hysteria, bring some. Uh, bring on the heartbreak, or whatever what comes up next. Really, you know, we're we're, you know, we got the list as long as, as long as our arm. You know, it's, uh, the difficult ones would probably be, rocket. Right. But is there a release plan, like one in August, one no, in September? Whenever they're done, so it's it, it's great in that respect. Okay, good. So, yeah. But they'll be coming out in the next year, at least. Yes, yeah, like stuff will be coming out, and new stuff as well. We're already working on some new stuff. I've got some stuff there on my on my laptop already, and it's, it's great, you know. I want it to be a bit more rock, so it's uh, that's cool. Oh, that's great, that's great. I, I love I love Def Leppard. Okay. But thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. I know you got to go.